Hi America, this is your host of Humanity Matters. I want to share some personal secrets with you tonight. And I have some other things to talk to you about. This may be a five minute, uh, hopefully only a five minute tape rule. But by the time we're done tonight, by the time I'm done, I hope that this will once again re-energize you and give you even more determination in your life. Move it as you want. Because I'm about to tell you something that will disgust you, but it will show you the kind of determination I have. So let's get to the business at hand. Now, I um, I have a computer, best computer I ever had, and it took me about four years in order to save up for it. This computer was the computer that I used to actually upload my videos to all the places that I upload them, like www.humanitymatters.org, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, my face, um, all for it. And it enabled me to always bring my sh to you on the internet for the people who have PC TV and television, and PC TV on paper. And it was, it will eventually change my life and enable me to get on mainstream television. And this is the top of the line. It took me four years, four years of saving up. Well, last week, something very upsetting happened. Some hacker or some malicious program killed my top of the line computer. It wasn't actually the one I had, but it killed my computer, which left me unable to upload videos to YouTube. And it left me with one million files Basically, inaccessible, you know, emails and what have you. So basically, whoop my behind. Okay? And it was devastating for my career. Because I had my Word, Microsoft Word 2007 on there. I had my Pinnacle Studios 10 on there. I had a three hard drives on there that enables me to bring my stuff to you. And you're probably listening right now and you're thinking, well, why do I care? But if you care about me, I'm sure you do care, but, but okay, so this terrible thing happened to Al, so why is he telling us? Well, we all know by now that if I tell you something, there's a purpose behind it. There's a meaning behind it, right? Well, this is why I want you to start acting like me and having determination and saying that I'm going to overcome every obstacle as opposed to obstacles overcoming me. I'm a very determined man. I'm a very courageous man. I tell it like it is. I tell the truth. And many people don't like it. I'm fighting for health care for you and your family. Many people don't like that. Now, I can't tell you what happened to my computer, but it turned black. It would have a blank screen for about 20 seconds, about three days before it died completely and it won't even turn on. So I don't know if a malicious program did it or a hacker did it, but something weird was going on. But you know what? That's life. The computer's gone. But yet, my determination does not stop. So I am glad to announce that even though my backup machine is not as good doesn't have as much memory, and doesn't have even half the programs that I once had, I want you to know that yes, today, October the 21st, 2009, I am back on the internet, my friends, and I'm able to upload video to you again. And this is a message of defiance for the people or whatever agencies or what have you that destroyed my computer in an attempt to shut me up. Look very close at this face because you're still going to see it on TV. You're still going to hear it on the internet. You're going to hear it on podcast. You see, you destroyed my machine. Oh, you did, definitely. But I had a backup plan. And I know what you may be thinking. Well, I will break that one too. If you do, I have a backup plan. And if you break that one, I have a backup plan. 
No, I don't have endless computers. I don't have the money, obviously. But I will find a way, always, to overcome you. And I will be online. You see, my other computer had a firewire. It's a card you have to physically install. Okay? And most computers don't have that. In fact, if you have a computer that has a firewire, you want to sell that computer, you'll get more money for it because it has that card. But at any rate, when they destroyed my computer, it really screwed me up. I couldn't get online. So what did I do? I didn't have much money because I'm 550% below the poverty line. Well, I looked around and I found a way to get another Firewire card. And yeah, I installed it. I installed hardware on my computer. I'm back online. So for those of you who may want to stop me, it ain't gonna happen. Now, you may not think it does. It matters because of this. It demonstrates that when we have decided in our lives, when we made that decision, that nobody or anything or any consequence or obstacle is gonna stop us, that no matter what happens, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep going forward and we're not gonna let anything stop us. This is a real life reality, truthful demonstration of what it means to be determined and to say no to those who would oppose you, to say no to obstacles. If I can get back online, up and running, and not let anybody stop me, and I'm 550% below the poverty line, if I can do it, and I can physically learn how to install a, fi a firewire card, if I can do it and overcome the obstacles that were put upon me, then you can do it. You can do it. And you have greatness in you. So, I want each and every one of you to pay close attention to what I just said. My number one computer, best computer I ever had, had things that I can't even name. It took me four years to get. They destroyed it, obliterated it. And within one week, I'm back where I was online. Now, I don't have the memory I used to have on the computer. And I don't have the tools that I used to have to go fancy dancing. But I'm back. So you ain't stopping me. For those who want to stop me and shut me up, it's not going to happen. I want every one of you out there to be like me. Yeah, I know. You're like, oh, hell no, I don't want to be like you. Excuse my language. You be like me. You have that determination. I don't care if you're 16 or 116. If there's something you want to do and it's legal, it's not going to hurt anybody, and it's a career or something, education or whatever it is, don't you let anybody stop you. And I mean don't you let anybody stop you. Not family, not friends, not economics, not education or lack of. Nothing. Not anything. You cannot let obstacles overcome you. You must. I repeat, you must overcome the obstacles. I can do it and they dealt a very vicious blow to me. If I can do that, then you can do that. And you do matter. Now for those of people or system, I don't know if it was a system or a hacker. I really don't know. I'm going to find out if I can ever afford to get it fixed. I'm going to try to find that out. And I will pursue criminal penalties if possible. However, the point is, they hit me hard. I didn't let it stop me. You can't let it stop you. And now I'm going to go slightly off to a different avenue. I've been saying about the health care bill that it needs to be a health care bill passed by the United States.